Hey everyone, welcome to another After Effects tutorial, today we are creating audio spectrum visualizer effect, like this. So let's start it. First create a new composition, 1000 by 1000, 30 frame per second, and change comp name shape. Then select ellipse tool. And create a circle, by press and hold shift and control key. Set the anchor point center of the circle, and align the circle. Then select shape layer, and add trim path. Open trim path 1, and go to first frame. And set end point around 18%. Then add repeater. And open repeater 1. Change number of copy around 5. Then open transform repeater 1, and change X position 0%, and change the rotation like this. You can see our shape copies does not match with our circle path, so go to ellipse 1. Then open transform ellipse 1, and change X and Y position 0%, here you can see the perfect circle. If your circle gapping not equal, so you can change the transformer repeater rotation. Perfect. Now search cell pattern effects, and apply on shape layer. Change cell size 5. You can increase and decrease stroke width at any time. Now select shape layer and duplicate them, and resize the shape like this. Then open shape layer, go to contents, and open repeater 1 and, change number of copy 4. Then open transform repeater 1, and change rotation like this. And you can also change the stroke width. Then duplicate again shape layer, and change the stroke width round 10 pixel. Then open shape layer and go to contents, then go repeater 1, change number of copy 3, and also change the rotation. and go to trim path and change end point. Then again duplicate the shape layer, and do the same adjustment. Now select all shape layer, and press R for rotation, go to the first frame of timeline and add a keyframe. Then go to around 5 second forward and select first shape layer. And change the rotation value on. Then hold Alt and click stopwatch icon to add a expression, go to add, then go to property, and select loop out expression. 
Then select the second shape layer, this time add rotation value minus 1, and add the same expression. Then go to third shape layer and add rotation value 1, and the same expression, do the same with last shape layer, but rotation value minus 1, and same expression. So it's look like this. Now go to project window, and drag logo image into timeline, and resize the logo according to the last circle of shape layer. Now select logo layer and search tint effect and apply on logo layer. Now create an another composition, change name with HUD. Then create an another composition and change name audio. And drag your audio file into audio comp. Then go to HUD comp, and drag audio comp into timeline. Then drag shape comp into timeline. Now create a new solid layer. Then select ellipse tool and create a circle mask. Go to mask, and change mask at to none. Then search audio spectrum effect and apply on solid layer. Go to effect control panel, and change audio layer none to audio and path none to mask one. Here you can see the effect on our mask. Now change the both color white, and side option, side B. So it's only a bare outside of circle. Now change sat frequency one, N frequency around 1100. Change the frequency bands around 650. Maximum height around 580. softness 0%, and thickens 20. Now create a new adjustment layer. And search find edge effect and apply an adjustment layer. And check invert, here you can see the effect apply on our all layer. So select the shape layer and move above the adjustment layer. Now create a new adjustment layer, and search VC Color Vibrance effect. You can download this effect from official video copilot site, and choose any color which you like. Then search glow effect, and apply on it. Change glow threshold 90%. Then go to 5 second forward, and select audio spectrum layer. And add a keyframe on all of these. Then go to 1 frame forward. and change the frequency bands, and also change the thickness. Here you can see our effect has changed, you can play these setting, as you like. Then go to again 10 seconds forward, and add a keyframe,
Then go to one frame forward. And change these setting again. So look little dynamic and attractive. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now go to project window, and make new full HD comp. 1920 by 1080, and change comp name main comp. And drag HUD comp into main comp. Then select new solid layer. Select HUD layer and duplicate them. Then select second HUD layer and resize them. And change opacity around 7%. Now select ellipse tool, and make a small circle. Fill color white, stroke none. Now select shape layer. And add repeater. Then open repeater 1. And increase the number of copy. Then open transform repeater 1 and change X position. Now add another repeater, open repeater 2. Then open transform repeater 2 and change X position 0 and Y position around 50. Then increase the number of copy. Move this layer below the HUD layer. Now select rectangle tool, and create a small rectangle. Fill color none, stroke around 5 pixel. Then add trim path. Open trim path 1 and go to first frame of timeline and change end point 0% then go to around 1 second forward and set end point 100% then hold alt and click on stopwatch to add expression and add loop out expression Now add repeater, then open repeater 1, and go to repeater transform, and change the X position, and increase the number of copy. Then duplicate the shape layer, and move shape down. Then press U to show keyframe, and delete the keyframe, also delete the expression. Go to trim path change endpoint value 0%, then go to start point and add a keyframe and change value 100%. Then go to one second forward and change start point 0%, and add loop out expression. Now select both shape layer and duplicate them, and move down. Then again duplicate both shape layer, and move down. Now select all shape layer and move below the HUD layer. Then select all shape layer and pre-compose them. And change opacity around 9%. Then search fast blur effect and apply. 
check repeat edge pixels, and blurriness around 30%. Then go to toggle switches mode, and select HUD layer and change blending mode normal to add, also convert all layer into 3D layer. Now create a camera, I am using 35mm preset camera. Then create a null layer. And parent camera with null layer. Then select null layer and hit P for position. Also convert the null layer into the 3D layer. Then go to the first frame of timer line, and change the position as you like. I am just showing you example, choice is your. Then go to few second forward and change the camera position. Then select both keyframes and easy ease them. Perfect. Now select background layer and search for color gradient effect and apply on it and change first color black replace the second color with HUD color third color black and fourth also black you can blend them little bit and also down the opacity so our background color match with our HUD effect Then go to around 5 seconds forward and split the background layer. And change this layer color, and copy color code. Then open HUD comp, go to 5 seconds forward where our audio spectrum has changed. Split adjustment layer, and paste the color code. Here you can see the background and HUD color has same. Then go to 10 seconds and split the background layer. And change the color and copy color code. Then go to HUD comp, and split adjustment layer. And paste the color code. Now our animation has done, hit 0 for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.